Nigerian filmmaker and girl child education advocate Zuria Oduwale had a sneak peek review and private screening of her latest documentary film for 150 youth and children in Lagos State. Titled Follow the Ball for Education, the film was screened in Lagos. TV 360's Ngozi Okoye has more on that story. It's an exciting time for these students at the Civic Center in Lagos, where young filmmaker Zuriel Oduoli is having a private viewing of her latest documentary film. And before long, everything takes shape and everyone settles to see the latest work of Zuriel. The documentary is basically about Zuriel's campaign for the education of the girl child. She has taken her campaign across countries, seeking support for her project by urging individuals to sign the significant ball for education. 15-year-old Zuriel, who started her film project at age 9, has made 5 films, traveled to 12 countries and spoken to about 24,900 children across the world. This event today is really a private screening because the actual documentary hasn't premiered yet. It's going to premiere in Abuja um, next week. But what I wanted to say, I wanted to do a private screening and show groups of school kids the documentary so that they can be inspired by it. And basically the documentary, I created it to bring more awareness to girls' education. Just because, as you may have seen the documentary, uh, I took two footballs to six countries across three continents to get people talking about girls' education. So that's what the documentary is about. Some of the students want to know how she was able to achieve so much at such a young age. This is what Zuriel has to say. As a school, being home school, it means that as long as I have a computer, as long as I have internet, I can do my school anywhere. So I can do it at home in Los Angeles, I can do it in Lagos, Nigeria, I can do it in Mauritius, Tanzania. As long as I have a computer, the internet, I can do my school. So that's how I'm able to balance both of these things. I have a family who supports me. There's my mom, my dad, and my parents. And beyond the screening of her film, Zuriel takes out time to take her audience on the art of documentary filmmaking. Some of the students say they feel encouraged to dream and live up their dream and urging parents to invest in their female children. I've learned that no matter how old you are, whether you've lost your parents, your grandparents, you can still achieve something that even people with all they have cannot achieve. Today, I learned that um, whatever you want to do, whatever you have in mind, any desire or vision, that you should make sure you work towards this because even people may be criticizing you that this thing you can't do is it, far more than what you think of. You should just make sure that you work towards it and even though there will be some challenges on the way, we should just make sure we move towards what we want to be and we should focus because that's the only thing we can do to reach whatever we want to, wherever we want to go. And I also learned that and no matter how small you are, it doesn't matter. Once you have the desire to do what you want to do and you have the um, interest in you, you can do anything you want to do. In Nigeria, our country, they believe, parents believe that girls are not supposed to go to school that because they end up in the kitchen. But that is not true because girls, because you can see we have president of a country that is a woman. So we can see that girls in the country are also working towards the success of the country. Other highlights of the event is this dancing competition by the students. Speaking with TV360, Zuriel appreciates some African leaders on their efforts to ensure an education for the children, but say more still needs to be done. In mostly it talks about education policies with girls' education. I can give you examples. There's presidents who have invited back to the country so I can see what they're doing. There's, for example, there's a president of Tanzania, President Jikaki Kwete. Then in 2013, he invited me to come and see the work he'd done in building new schools and getting more children into schools. There's also Namibia, where children up until the age of 16 get free education. So I am seeing um, some work being done. I can say in general, South Sudan probably, because they have one of the highest rates of girl marriage in the world. So usually by the age of 11, 12, girls are already married off, so they're already not in school, not getting educated. That's why I spoke to the president of the country, President Savarkir, about this issue. Zuriel, who at her age is expected to enjoy her summer having fun with her pairs, 
has events lined up in her pursuit to influence leaders of the world to take more action and education to ensure every child gets the chance to be educated. Ngozi Ukoi, TV360, Lagos.